Uh, well, Callum, congratulations on your, your call up to the England team for the Rugby League World Cup. This would have been a, a very different situation had the World Cup taken place 12 months ago. Uh, what's the feeling like having been through your kind of injury problems, got back on the horse with Salford and then earn, you know, deservedly earned your way into this team? Look, I'm just really grateful for being given the opportunity. I think I didn't think it would happen, especially with the injury last year. Uh, obviously, the World Cup got, got delayed, which opened the door really, which was which was really good. And um, at the start of the year, I didn't think I'd be involved at all. Um, I just wanted to get back playing, get back my confidence back up, and uh, get myself enjoying rugby again. Uh, and I did that pretty pretty early on when I got back back playing, which was. Which was amazing. I think the team helped helped that along along the way, and uh, we just gained some confidence each week. And the year's been really good for us at Salford, so it's that's helped lay the platform for for myself, like of Andy Ackers and uh, Mark Sneed to get into the squad, which is which is amazing for the club. What was the conversation with Sean like when he told you that you were in his twenty four? Yeah, it was just you know amazing. Like we you know how passionate Sean is about England, and, and I'm certainly similar to that, and wanting England to be successful and to do well and I've been part of the the journeys uh, through the last couple of World Cups as well which has been amazing times but we've just fell a little bit short but the the confidence and the belief was there definitely the last World Cup we could go on and win it and um, we've got a good mix I think this group uh, we've experienced especially the guys in the NRL and uh, younger players as well you know the likes of Herbie and Dom Young and um, you know, Mikolai at Leeds, he's been gaining experience year on year and you know he's been outstanding this year for Leeds as well so they're really good examples of players that will benefit from being part of this squad and uh, give us some good good confidence going into these games. Seconds away, as you mentioned in 2013, from getting into the final, we all know what happened five years ago in that World Cup final. Does that stoke the fire for you to, to go one better this time? Yeah, it does. Uh, you know, we were so close in the la in the last time, and we enjoyed a really good time there with the with the guys as well. And um, we earned our right to get to that final. And you know, in tough circumstances, we 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 got there. And um, that game that we played in the final was 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 really really tough on us. Hardest games we've played in, but you know, that's what it's all about. That's playing for England and being in them situations. That's what it's all about. Why, and you know knowing that I got an opportunity to do that again. I want to get there again, so uh, it'd be the same with the, with the other guys in the group. You know, everyone's got a common goal and um, you know, we'll work hard to get towards that goal. Your third World Cup and then third England coach in terms of those World Cups. Are you seeing positive signs from this camp and the way that Sean's got things moving based on your experience from the previous ones? Yeah, definitely. I think, look, you know, Sean's picked a look. You know, a lot of them players that, that are on form. He's got some experienced players that, that work really hard under him as well, which is good. And I think he's he's got a team there, he's got a squad that he believes that can go on and win, you know. And that's the same with me. I've got every belief that we can do that. We know we've got tough challenges ahead, but that's what it's all about. That's what playing rugby league and playing at the highest level is all about. You've got to play against the best teams and the best players in the world. And we can compete with them, and you know, for us, it's about winning and uh, getting that belief, and that'll help during the times that we're in camp, and you know, we're spending good time together and training hard and preparing for for the games in the World Cup. Samoa first up, very different prospect to what it would have been at previous World Cups. Different prospect to what it even would have been when the draw was made for these group stages. How tough is that opener going to be at St James's? Yeah, it's massive. It's going to be it's going to be tough, no doubt about it. I think the players that they've got in their squad. You know, a lot of them are playing this week uh, in the grand final, so um, we know their, you know, their potential and their, the talent that they've got in their team. They've got a good mix as well of experience and youth as well, so uh, it should uh, indicate that it'll be a, a cracker of a game in, in that opening game, which what it's all about, and uh, that's something that is really exciting for for us as a group, uh, as an England group, and. For the country as well, I think if we can get all the fans and stuff getting up, getting behind us and um, fill out the stadium, uh, the atmosphere should be amazing. Well, well, thank you.